Hello and welcome back to Tag Me Video Coverage. Uh, I'm Matt. I'm Kevin. And this week we are at Meta Games for the second of two round one games. This one between Kevin, yourself, and Mark from Moncton. How about you tell us about the deck you're playing? Um, this is the uh, the the very popular. I think it's called Tumble Fork or. I think that's what everyone's calling. It. Well, anyway, it's uh, it's the Wizard Faust deck, but with Edward Kim as its ID, which I think um, is really an interesting choice for this meta game. Yeah, yeah. Um, especially uh, especially playing against ETF here, which probably plays maybe three operations. So uh, Edward Kim not going to be doing a lot of work here, but uh, nevertheless, we'll give it a go. Um, playing against Mark here, who's a who's a really skilled player, playing. Maybe the first time I've seen him not play NBN, he usually plays either NEH or Making News or so. Yeah, he's been a pretty dedicated yellow player since we've known him, pretty much. Yeah, getting uh, getting the wild side out here first turn is extraordinarily key for these decks. You mulligan for wild side, you need that card draw, you need to draw into the Faust as quickly as you can. Absolutely. And we so, see Mark here resing a piece of next dice that would be next bronze. So uh, a next ETF deck, which um, probably not the best meta call considering the amount of parasites in play right now, but uh, we'll see how it goes. It's true. Like with the meta game being as anarch heavy as it is, I find it very interesting that he would choose to play such low strength ice. Um, but you have a pretty aggressive open against Mark's very conventional double ice click for a credit. Um... Do you feel as though maybe he's just holding back or just playing his game, whereas you're also just playing yours and just setting up, or do you think... Um, yeah, I think I think Mark probably drew into what he thought was a good hand, and uh, I drew into what was definitely the best possible hand, getting, you know, opening up, I've got nine credits now, I've got the wild side out, I'm drawing as much as I can. Mark's going to have to click for credits here a couple times just to match pace. That's exactly it. Like, Mark probably kept a very conventional hand, but even knowing he was against Wildside, he didn't mulligan this hand, so he kept Next Ice on purpose. Yeah, yeah. Next Ice can be good if you can get a lot of them rezzed, especially if you're going to play with Executive Boot Camp and you can res a couple of them for free, mm -hmm. uh, or, or you know, without having to be run. Um, you get two or three right, Next true. Ice, those Next Golds, or those Next uh, Bronzes, excuse me, are hard to parasite, so... So continuing your very aggressive start, you click one for liberated accounts, and then you click two, I've had worse, click three, four, take money? Yes. Uh, well, click click uh, three, take money. I lost click one to the wild side Oh, wild side, side right. So you drew five cards that turn. Yes. That's a very good start. Yep. Um, a five-card draw in this deck is not out of the question uh, when you consider uh, I've had worse, and uh, the console in this deck is also Vigil. Oh, yes, of course. Okay, that's true. So mostly what you're doing here is just digging for pancakes? Um, Faust, actually. I can go without I can go without adjusted chronotype for quite a while, but Faust I absolutely need. Ooh, this is an interesting piece. I didn't expect to see a Vikram here. And I think yeah, uh, I'm going to have to... No, you go ahead. I think we're going to have to click through a few subs here to get in and... Uh... You know, I don't have any programs in place, so that first subroutine doesn't matter. Right. And uh, Mark reses an Adonis campaign off of a Breaker Break Grid, which is just awful because I have to trash it. It's true. And unfortunately, being Edward Kim instead of Wizard, you don't get to spend the zero dollars. Now yeah, you... yeah. Absolutely. That's very cheap for Wizard. That brings you down to one, which is a bad place to be in. But with a, a liberated count out, I'm okay. Dropping the clot, not going to be necessary against ETF here. No, that's true. And dropping a David, I mean, I'm sure that you have clone chip? Yeah. 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 So very worst case, you're going to be able to get that David back if you need it. Also true. Um, again, going with the two-card draw, wild side is amazing in this deck. It uh, It's just so important to get that early. And just rip through the deck as quickly as you can, especially when you're going to Faust away a lot of cards or you're just going to throw cards you don't need away. That's true. Absolutely. Like, you need to have that steady source of cards because they are, in many ways, your 
your primary resource in this deck. Absolutely, yeah. Um, this one runs maybe a little bit richer than a lot of the common wizard Faust decks, um, mostly because I have to pay to trash the resources. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see me getting the Parasite out early here and losing the I've Had Worse. I feel I have enough card draw, so I don't need to keep that. Yeah, and you're um, not looking to store them in any way. You definitely don't expect to be scorched out against an ETF deck. Certainly. Um, Mark has two Nexus out temporarily. I've got one Parasite, yeah, so he has no choice but to trash it or yeah. give me free reign to R&D, which he doesn't want to do. Um, still, Mark not in a good place here with only three credits against... Uh, a deck that still has no programs and really none needed. Um, street oh, Street Peddler. Peddler. That's fun. I like that in your deck. I, I noticed that when I was transcribing the deck lists, and I thought that was a really interesting choice. Yeah. Street Peddler, uh, just another thing to do uh, a mass amount of card draw. But card draw, that also then you can then install at, you know, instant, instant speed. speed. And then there's the Vigil. There's This is all the card draw I'll need now. So Mark, not in a good place. He needs to find something to score. That could be an agenda in his remote. Uh, with two ice and a Vikram out there, I very much doubt I'll run that again. That remote's pretty safe. Um, mm -hmm. So he needs to score to that and protect his centrals a little bit. Yeah, and unfortunately he's still only at three credits, so it's not like he can score and do other things until he can make some more money. Yeah, this is true. Um, ETF good at making money, and here he is crediting up, and then installing some ice for free. Two ice out of R over R&D hurts a little bit. Um, also, the install, I think, brings him down below five, so I'm only going to draw two here. Um, right, yes. But, like, on the balance, a lot of turns, you're probably going to wind up drawing three cards in that situation. No doubt. Well, uh, in, in this deck, Vigil typically will draw... Uh, and you an extra card, maybe five or ten turn, five to ten turns per game, which is pretty good. That's really good for one click and two credits. Yep. Like if there was just a card that you just had power counters and you removed one every turn to draw a card, I would play that card. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now uh, I've got what should be enough money to get me through the game if I could find the Faust. Um, That's the I trick, right? I expect I have a Faust maybe on the Street Peddler, maybe in my hand now. Um, At this point, you should have access to one, yeah. And and Mark still, I mean, at five credits, he's not doing badly. But, oh, well, six now, it's still not a ton. What worries me is with this, with with um, six or seven credits, he can res uh, two next dice, which... That's true. Turns off that ice over HQ quite a bit. Um, a backup plan for the wizard for the Kim deck is to hit HQ hard and try to trash away some of the resources or some of the operations. Excuse me. Do you but, not find that that's counterintuitive with Vigil? Um, no, not really. I I would rather them not have a a, a hedge fund than me draw the extra card. Okay, that's very fair. Yeah. Pancakes is out, so I'm back to four click turns. Um. I'm probably, yeah, so I'm going to try to be aggressive here, make him risk some ice. That looks like an enigma, or quandary. quandary, which um, an interesting play considering the amount of parasite I have. I've, we've already seen one, it's in the bin. Um, I'm not sure what I've got here, I probably I think in this bounce. case, though, he's looking at the quandary as trading his one credit for your two, but at the same time, it also keeps you out and saves him money in the long run, potentially. Okay, Dirty Laundering Archives again. Um, typically, I only want to do this with Data Suckers out, but uh, I think I just wanted the three credits here and not have to discard it. Oh, you were <sighs> running the risk of discarding, because otherwise, yep. clicking Liberated Accounts is far more efficient. Yeah. Um, so, Mark probably needs a little bit of money. Maybe that's an agenda in the remote he could score. I don't know if he's playing many four points or maybe he wants to over advance um uh, a vitruvius uh, there's the money he's now up back up to nine yeah. this turns on next gold which you gotta figure is in the deck considering we've seen both flavors of next already exactly there's no reason to run next ice without at least one or two next golds at this point certainly um and with uh with an upgrade on over r and d that could also be a marcus batty which with in, in concert with next gold is very just bad. really bad. Very bad, yeah. All right, so I'm parasiting the quandary, and um, 
playing, playing the Faust. pretty quick there, and there's the Faust. So now I can break the next gold um, and just worry about Batty. Um, it could also be a Chrisium grade, which hurts if I have medium out. Um, dirty laundering, R&D. No res the ice, and no res the upgrade either. Okay, so not you... not an agenda. Um, And it is a Chrisium, I can't trash it. So that's uh, good. If only you were wizard. Yes, no doubt. Um, yeah, not resing. I'm I'm unsure what that is. I still I still I think I'm expecting next gold here, but possibly he wants to score that agenda next turn. Now I'm going into R and D or HQ. Excuse me. I'm going to discard something, another chronotype, to get through the bronze. Try to snipe something out of his hand. Right, a little too high. Oh, and you're siding. Oh my god, it's a oh. NAPD, which is an interesting call. NAPD has seen uh, better days now that it's on the MWL. A lot of people are not playing it. I, but I did see it as a singleton in a few decks. Just, mm -hmm. I think... Oh, and over-advanced the Vitruvius like you predicted. Yeah. This can be good to get next ice out of archives, um, considering how quickly they disappear often now. Uh, also, it's good to pull a Jackson back um, in a meta full of wizards. Your Jacksons don't last long. It's true. And so it's good to pull one back when you need to. And it does open up that remote server again. He knows that it's relatively safe. So now he can start hiding more things in it. This is true. Now that I've got a medium out, I've pretty much broadcasted what I want to do. I've run in with still not enough credits to trash the Christian grid, um, which... Not a big deal on that first one, but it means if I get in a second time, I don't get to access another card. So probably a bit of a play mistake here. Yeah, like I probably would have taken that liberated accounts money. Mm -hmm. So he's resing Chrisium. Um, also, I, I may have just wanted him to res it. Which, uh, Force him to spend the money, key. I guess? Yeah. So. That doesn't still, it doesn't seem very efficient. Oh, and then and I'm parasiting. So I'm gonna parasite the Bruins, um, making any next gold possibility not as fruitful for Mark now. Uh, a next gold with one is not as powerful, but still deadly. It's hard to be worth the money though, <laughs> at that rate at least. Yeah, that's true. Dropping, uh, forcing him to drop that ice, which you would have to do. So that's it would be going next turn. All three of your parasites. All three parasites are the bit. We have still haven't seen any clone chips. Deck runs three. You have been quite lucky with parasites, though. Yep. Yep. That's not bad. Um, I think at this point I'm less to I'm less than fifteen cards left in my deck. Oh. There's no the way. Chip. You have to have way more than fifteen cards left in mm. that deck. It really, really rips through the cards when you consider Street Peddler, when you consider Vigil and Wildside. Um, I suppose. Yeah. So. You're seeing a lot of cards. You're absolutely correct there. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm building up money. I can now trash Chrisium, and I'm probably going in. No res. Um, it is a successful run. I do get a counter, although it doesn't look like I'm activating my trigger there. It's not a successful run because oh. Chrisium Grid was still there at the time that you this run would have been made successful. This is true. This is true. Yeah, timing uh, did, is stupid. <laughs> did, trash the, did trash the Chrisium, though, so that's Excellent. open. Um, he's at six credits, can't raise a gold. I'm, I know I'm convinced it's a gold now. Um, having not seen anything. Although I wonder then why the he wouldn't have resed it earlier when it would have been worth two. I, he did want to score the Vitruvius next turn, so. Oh, that's true. It would have brought him down below the three credit for that threshold to score the Vitruvius. Yep. Now he's at eight. Um, so I'm doing... My install, Street Peddler again. So what are you looking for here in Street Peddler? Like if you... Clone chips. Clone chips. Okay, yep. absolutely. The ability, the ability to bring out clone chips on the fly when they don't think I have them is very, very handy. But he always... He knows you have clone chips because you have a... I mean, you have one in play, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got a bronze over top of R&D, which, which is easily breakable. I would... Expect I will probably clone chip it at the end of his turn, or parasite yeah. at the end of his turn. Excuse me. Seeing two cards, trashing an Adonis. 
got to get that out of his hands. He cannot start making money. That and that second card was an Ichi, I'm pretty sure. So he will have some more dangerous ice moving forward at the very least. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And am I making a second run? I am making a second run. I didn't trash a card there. Oh, but you got an ABT. Okay. Maybe it was I'm an not... Eve campaign. You didn't have the oh. money. Okay, here I am. I'm. I, no, I oh. mean I didn't to to pay to break the uh, right, bronze. Right, to break the bronze. But there, I just paid. So. Oh, it's nice that you paid after you realized it was going to be a profitable run. That's <laughs> that's how the best players do it. I'm pretty right, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, I realized gonna I was going to have this? to discard down if I yeah. didn't. So. <laughs> right. Exactly. All right, so I'm up four here. Three tokens on medium is often more than enough. Um, this is click three, I believe. Yeah. Uh, another Eve. And, and trash see. a hedge fund. Always good. Always good to trash that money. Um, okay, so, so far you've trashed one hedge fund with Edward Kim, and you could have trashed multiple assets with Wizard. Were oh, you absolutely. happy with this choice? <laughs> Not in this match. Um but in this match, I could be playing, I think, almost with a blank ID and still be doing very well. This deck is powerful. Um, but in yeah. um, in uh, with the amount of uh, the amount of scorch in the meta right now, I'm I'm I find I'm consistently dropping scorches out of their hand. That's nice. true. There is just a ton of harpsichord Accord in our meta specifically, and I imagine most places. Here I am, so I'm uh, trashing a clone ship to install a parasite at the end of his turn, which Call will then parasite with your last two credits. With my last two credits, which will then destroy um, the bronze, making R and D again easier to get into. He installed a lot, so I don't get three cards. I'm only getting two. Um, and there it is. There There's it is. the gold, as predicted. So this this sucks. This is three cards to get through. Um, so I'm I'm thinking, do I want to let the net damage hit? Because the net damage is one net damage. I either pay one card out of my hand or let him choose. I may just assume I'm going to pay. Let me choose the net damage. And I definitely need to not trash the program because I'm going to lose my medium. So yeah, three which cards is, is the important. only choice. Yeah. And unfortunately, you don't have an economy generator out right now, so you're looking at trashing cards that you can't afford, which in, in this case was a liberated accounts. Yep. Seeing four oh, and... There's some food. Okay. So that puts me at six points. Yeah. Um, ideally, after stealing an agenda with medium, you want to go in again. I don't think I have the cards for it. I certainly don't. I could draw up. You could draw up, yeah. Uh, I also know he's got an ice over R and D or HQ, excuse me, that he can't res. I think I'm deciding whether or not I'm going to go in here or not. It's a pretty a low percentage play, but maybe I'm looking to snipe an operation. Um, I mean, I don't know exactly what operation would be great for you to snipe here. He has no money, and you're on game point. It's also true. I'm taking a single credit. And then I'm running his hand. I don't know why I took that credit, but yeah, there it is. Like maybe you want to be able to trash. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. and I sniped another food. Well, <laughs> that worked that out. Low, that low probability play really paid off for you, I guess. Certainly so. Man, what a jerk you are. <laughs> so ultimately, that matchup really had nothing to do with your identity. Hey, I trashed one hedge fund. Yeah, it was... <laughs> entirely on the power of wild side and faust which i think is going to be a theme for this tournament yeah i think it's going to be a theme for the next few months um until some anti-faust cards come out but um right now faust wild side very powerful is it too early to ask the question of whether or not faust and wild side will be put on the most wanted list i believe it is it's too early yeah okay that's fair <laughs> Whalen, Whalen will destroy Faust. It's just what That's Whalen fair. does. Absolutely, high strength barriers will do the job, and spider web, spider web. That's true. Hive. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they have a lot of cards that are good against Faust. All right, so uh, that's gonna do it for us. Monday, Alex will be back, hopefully, with the first game of round two. Excellent. I can't make that promise, but that's the 
goal, at least. And now he has to do it because we said it on the internet. <laughs> All right. So until next time, I'm Matt. I'm Kevin. And go to Wendy's and get yourself a Frosty.